I trust you are keeping well. Oh, what a relief it is to see even a small number of my beloved cats come back to me. I cannot imagine life without them. To feel their weight upon my lap is enough to raise my spirits. It's strange, but I feel as if their innocence is capable of warming my heart. No, no. I just find myself missing a bit of warmth now and then. That's all. This is not the time to worry yourself about me. Let us get back to the cats. There are still many that have yet to return home. We must rescue them at all costs. I just know they are out there somewhere, waiting for you to save them. Thank you for coming. Oh, do you speak true? Please, I would be delighted with your aid. How goes the cat search? I hope they are all safe and well. Farewell, noble warrior. Thank you for... It is simply perfect. I am delighted you so frequently make time to see me. We live in a disquieting world of late. I certainly hope not. It is crass of me to speak of the outside world. I sometimes dream of being able to leave. Of watching the sun as it sets behind the mountains. Unhurried. Alone. The wisps of cloud that linger over peaks lit by sunset's glow are identical in shade to the sleeves of my morning robes. From the tale of Genji. Lovely. Is it not? Hmm. I can almost see it all before me. Usugumo, wisps of cloud. Perhaps, if we get to know one another better, I might let you in on the secret. I suppose you will just have to keep coming to see me, if you want to know more. <laughs> Please, be Have I mentioned how glad I am that you're here? Truth be told, there's a personal matter I wish to discuss. Whenever I get close to a certain row of abandoned houses, 
I feel like I'm being watched. When I turn around, no one's there. But I just know somebody's watching from some dark and lonely corner. Would you be so kind as to investigate and find out who's watching me? Thank you. What a relief. But do be careful while you're out there. I got in about it out of there. How oh, quickly you've forgotten about Kurosu. Prepare to die, traitor! You will pay. You will pay for your treachery. <laughs> Like a ninja, he appeared out of nowhere with a message. He said, We have Taka at Benden Shrine. If you want her back, the traitor must come alone. And I heard from some others in the Pleasure District that Taka had asked your guidance on a matter. Please, if you know anything about this, you must save Taka, please!
And a chance against two. With you! No!
waiting for this moment. You pay for breaking, You'll pay for breaking the code. I am glad to see your face, even if you do look rather wretched. No need to explain. I'm sure there are things you don't want dragged into the light. No need to apologize, but... I appreciate you thinking about me. Don't tell me you thought I'd be cross. On the contrary, I'm rather glad you saved me. See? Do I look angry? Do you need a closer look? <laughs> I'm only teasing. I really am grateful, though. Seeing you show up to rescue me, I thought I was dreaming. But, of course you'd come. How could you not? We both have certain people we could not ignore if we tried. Ah, forgive me. I seem to be rambling. Kichi must be worried. I should go see her at once. Say, it would take no time at all on that dashing steed of yours. Why don't I hop on behind you and... Hold you tight.
Well, aren't you kind? Though you might have agreed to that a little too readily. <laughs> Really, though, I'm truly grateful that you came to my rescue. Thank you. And now that I've learned about you, I feel obligated to share something of myself. Such a pleasant breeze. Being here with you, I somehow feel as if I can let my guard down. How sad that we are nearly there. Dare I hope I'm not alone in that feeling. If only we could just keep going, you and I. Go somewhere far, far away. But. Perfectly fine, Kichi. I'm sorry to have worried you. And thank you. Thank you for saving Taka. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I could count on you to help. Oh, I should mention Taka. The guest you are expecting has arrived. Ah, oh, I see. Very well. Thank you. Now, let me introduce you. Since you so boldly came to my rescue, I feel I should return the favor by revealing a secret of my own. <laughs> Once the cat's out of the bag, there's no putting it back in, you know. I'll be waiting in my room. Be sure to come by later. who I am. <laughs> A sobriquet of my ancestor. Though it seems some apply it to me. The truth is, in order to assist Lord E in his affairs, I've been keeping an eye on the expulsionists who frequent the pleasure district. I wanted you to know but he must promise not to breathe a word of this to another soul. Lord E is a long-time acquaintance of mine. I wish to be of service to him in whatever small way I can. Hmm. Any complaints? And before you insinuate anything, Taka does this for me willingly. Remind me, how long have you known Taka? I'd wager I'm a better judge of her intentions than the likes of you. That's enough talk about me, I should think. It's not every day you get an audience with the chief minister. Isn't there something you'd like to ask him? Of me. 
A sentiment alien to you, I'm sure. <laughs> Expulsionist fools. They think my death will prevent the opening of the country. Idiocy. I have my mission. And it leaves no time to entertain their stupidity. Ah, yes. I've heard stories. Stories about them collaborating with the foreigners. I'll keep my ears open. But I am a busy man and can offer no promises. I think we're done here. Try not to get in our way. Hey, feeling beat?
Let's have a little chat. Oh, I like this. Ah, is that so? If you ever need help, just call me. Thank goodness you're here. There's awful news. The Red Demon sent his master showing to death. Then this will be quick. This is Fumi, Master Showing's younger sister. An official told her they're planning to execute her brother soon. We cannot allow this to happen. We need to muster the troops and get Kasura to come up with some kind of plan. But first, we need to let Shinzaku and your husband know what's happening. They've been keeping their distance from Katsura, it seems. I'm talking about Genzoi. Fumi is married to him. The problem is finding Shinzaku. Who knows where he's loitering? I'd say... There's a good chance he's in Chinatown. I'll go and look for him there. I'm not sure it's safe for Fumi to go alone. Shinzaku's associating with some unsavory sorts, I hear. <laughs> go after her and help her find Shinzaku. Leave Kensui to me.
who sounded like Shinsako in the area. No, I think you're likely to find Shinsako up ahead. But I've heard he's been rather unruly of late. I thought me being there might make him less likely to act up. Will you go to Shinsako in my stead? Thank you so much. Please, be careful. I'll be waiting at the Sakura Inn. Let's go. Stay sharp.
hunting prey. Don't rush. Take your time. Is that all? Thanks for your patronage. Getting warmed up. Hey! <laughs> 
Have you had enough fun? <laughs> well, I'm impressed. I guess you got more than just luck on your side. I've been putting together my militia. Isn't this the perfect place? You came all this way to tell me that. And he's to be executed. But are you sure you want to share that news with your enemies? I mean, you are working for the Shogunate, aren't you? Am I? Well, perhaps. I'm not a mind reader. But what does that matter in the end? It would be a waste to kill you now. We are not done with each other, I'm afraid. So, Katsura and the others at the Sakura Inn, I'm sure. Come join us there. I'll buy you a drink. I'm a go over there! My sons! One for you.
You there, you look like you know your way around a fight. How about putting your skill to the test? <laughs> 